I will be back for you. If some guy was about to steal your girl, how do you understand Jesus asked us when he sat with the disciples that day, he told them how often to do this. What we're doing right now. Don't put it in your mouth. Hold it in your hand. Just hold it in your hand. We're waiting. Ladies are going to go right over to the boys' side now. You're also going to make sure every person that's in here, leaders as well. Girls, you need to go and finish your side over here. They are already done with their grapes. You guys are a little on the slow side. It's all right. Hold on to your bread. Hold on to your bread. Hold on to your grape. Jesus said, do this how often? Until he comes again. You guys are taking this communion tonight. As a kid, you will get to do this until Jesus comes again. If Jesus does, if Jesus does not come until you're an old grandpa, you're going to take communion as often as as you want. You can do it as often as your church does communion. If your church does communion once a month, you can do it every time. If you take communion every six months, that's how often you do it. If this is your first time, I want you to make sure you tell your parents, your grandparents, whoever brought you to church, I want you to tell them that you took communion to remember what Jesus did. Has everybody been served? Listen, everybody has been served a grape. The back row back here has not been served. And the workers, you need to get the workers as well. You got yours, excellent, excellent. Did you get my workers up front? These boys right here are waving their hands. We're still waiting for the bread. They're doing a wonderful job. Here, you're holding it. Let the ladies do it, please. Thank you. We're working together as a team. Awesome. No? Just hold on to it. Just hold on to it. Where is the land? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Has everybody been served great? All of the workers. Did you get the workers back here? And I see some adults on the outside that would probably like to take communion. And you need one for yourself. That's right. Yes, go ahead and get the ones outside. Ladies, go get the ones outside for me. And I do need it. Thank you. We're almost done. Have you been thinking of all the things that Jesus has done for you while you've been sitting there? Did he give you a great mom and dad? Did he give you a great school to go to? Are we going? Be patient, kids. It does take a little bit of time. It does take a little bit of time. But I think these girls are doing a wonderful job. Thank you very much, ladies.
Okay, ladies, are we almost done right there? Oh, careful, careful. And come right up with that for me, right up front here. It looks a little bit different when you're at a, at a adult service because they usually have the deacons that are the older men in the church. Um, they don't usually have young ladies doing the communion. But these young ladies have showed great responsibility and working for the Lord. All right, ladies, have we got our last couple of people there served? And you made sure that each one of you have? Go ahead and come on forward. Come on up, ladies. Yes, we each need to get one. All right. Hold it in your hand, kids. And Jesus said to do this in remembrance of me. I'm not going to continue until I have absolute silence. Those of you that are still talking, we're going to wait till you are quiet. Do you see somebody beside you talking? Jesus said to do this in remembrance of him. To do this in remembrance of him. When Jesus died, he set us free from sin. When you take the bread, it reminds us of Jesus' body that was broken. Do this in remembrance of him. You may go ahead and take it. Go ahead and put it in your mouth and you may eat it. Hold on to your grape. Usually in church, they'll give you a small little cup with grape juice in it. But there's nothing like the real thing. This grape helps us to remember that Jesus stayed on the cross, kids. He stayed on the cross until his blood was shed for each and every one of us. One drop of his blood covers all of your sins. One drop. He said to do this and drink this in remembrance of me. This is his blood that covers your sin. Do this in remembrance of him. Go ahead and take the grape and eat it. The blood washes every sin in your life away completely. 